Antonio, it's been the first session out on the field today. How's it, how's it feeling? It's been uh, pretty relaxed so far. Um, obviously, uh, you know, a few boys from uh, are still yet to come. They get in tonight, so uh, we'll probably have a good run tomorrow. And like you say, the Wigan boys haven't turned up yet, but everyone else is here. And how's it all coming together? Is it, do you know any of the other lads? Yeah, I know most of the boys, and um, uh, it's good. I think um, everyone's pretty much down. Everyone's, you know, um, it's been good at training. It's been good. We've been speaking to some of the, the backroom guys and they're saying, you know, it's a really relaxed camp. Everyone seems to just sort of settled in. Yeah, it has been. You know, I think as soon as we got in, you know, last night, it's been great. Um, you know, obviously, most, most of us boys have played with each other or played against each other. Um, and, yeah, some good mates. So, Daniel, nice relaxed first session with the boys there? Yeah, it was, you know. We're still carrying the bumps and bruises of the weekend's games, uh, <laughs> you know, and many rounds into the competition. The important thing is that we get a team that are healthy and keen on Saturday and sometimes early in the week you have to forego the training uh, load that, that's required. And that's representative rugby? It is, it's always like that, you know, and it's, it's not too dissimilar to club. You, you can't train if you're not healthy to train. If you want your players to play week in, week out, you've got to make some modifications to training programs. And you would have seen out there, there's a couple of blokes there that are on light duties, but um, we're, we're confident that we'll, we'll put a very strong team out in the field on Saturday. And they are an awesome set of players. You've got some great talent and some great power there. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, and it's, it's, it's the best thing about having a representative team. The best players from different clubs is that your contribution, you, you sort of build big framework and, and, and wide parameters. You don't need to be too narrow in your, in your I guess, in your philosophy. You know they're talented. Provide a, a platform which they're comfortable with and then let them, let them go, I guess. And then, obviously, looking forward to Saturday, how do you see it going? It's going to be a, a big game. Yeah, definitely, man. I reckon it's going to, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, it always are, that, that kind of level, especially playing England, and those guys are representing their country, so it's going to be you know, a massive game. All these gentlemen, uh, if you want, born and bred and played their rugby in the Southern Hemisphere, they, they like taking on the Northern Hemisphere team, so uh, there is a little bit of pride there. Yeah, especially when they've got origin to watch on Wednesday morning. Yes. Brett, he's already overruled you on that one. He right? has. He's pulled, the, uh, he's pulled the captain's card and um, we've foregone a, a little training session to watch origin, so that'll be entertaining. And poor old Anthony, Antonio Cafuz is the only uh, Queenslander. Is he? Queensland. I didn't know that. So, yeah. Oh, good. So he's, uh, he's going to get a bit of stick. <laughs> yeah, I know, but unfortunately for all the New South Welshmen, the Queenslanders have won six series and about 15 of the last 18 or 19 games. So... Um, even though he may be the only one, he's on the heavily back favourite.